show everybody, maybe close your eyes, and side to side. Hey everyone, so today I have the lovely Liz, and we're going to talk through what she likes to do for her makeup and what tips and tricks she wants to learn today. So let's get started. So Liz, um, tell me about your skin. Now, how would you describe your skin? Uh, is it oily, combo, dry? It's dry. Um, it's not. It's none of those, but just airs on dry. It's, I'm very lucky with it, really. Um, and so you feel like you just need a little bit more moisture. Yeah. Okay. And then for foundation, what do you what do you normally use? Like, what is your everyday type of foundation? It's kind of a. It's just a liquid foundation that I try and match as much as I can. Okay. But I like to have a dewy look rather, you know, not, I don't like any powder. I like it to look fresh. Fresh, yeah. okay, so let's do that. So the first thing I'm going to use is one of our new products. It's the Light Reflecting Firming Serum, which is right here. And what's so great about this is that it's gonna really hydrate the skin, but it also firms everything. So it's gonna be perfect for you. And I like to do this as a first step, like that. Does it feel tight or? No, it just it just feels like very hydrating. Oh. But as you use it, use it every day, it helps firm the skin. And you'll see in a second on camera, it just gives this, it's not like a shiny look, it's just like a light reflecting hydrated finish. So the next thing I'm going to do, because you said you have um, concerns about more dehydrated mm -hmm. dry skin, I'm going to use the Luminous Moisture Cream. It's like that. I'm going to blend it in and then just massage it in. If you're just going to go right over the moisturizer, just make sure that you give it time to absorb. Okay. So massage it into the skin and then maybe wait a few minutes. Make a cup of tea. Make a cup of tea mm -hmm. and then see if... Um, if it feels like it's fully absorbed and then do your foundation and you'll notice your foundation will just sit a little bit better. Our total replenishing eye cream. So this is going to sit underneath the eyes. Yeah. I don't like to go too far up because if we do any type of liner or powder underneath, you want it to stick. Mm -hmm. So I normally like to get, um, I think you turn this way. I like to get right here in the inner corner and then just go up to the top of the cheekbone. So what this does too, it gives you a little bit of highlight here. So you're almost just going right in like a half circle moon shape, just right underneath like that. But I'm not going all the way up to the lash line. I'm going to use the Afterglow Lip Balm and this is in the color Clean Cut. And I like to do this in the beginning so that I have time to absorb. So then when we do lipstick. Okay. I'm going to use the multiple in the color Copacabana, which is here. And it's a cream, it's a cream highlighter. And the reason I like putting it underneath is that it's going to be very subtle. It's just going to come through the foundation and look radiant. So the, the areas I like to apply this is just on the tops of the cheekbones. So we call this underlighting. So you know how there's highlighting? Yeah. This is underlighting. So we're just putting this underneath the foundation. Just, you know, if you use a powder highlighter, it can accentuate the lines. So by putting the cream underneath the foundation, you're not going to, it's not going to accentuate anything. It's just going to give a nice light reflecting property to it. So this is the Sheer Glow, and I'm using the color Mont Blanc. Okay, so I just have a little bit on my hand, I've warmed it up. So I like to, let me just go forward. I like to just use my finger and just blend it in the areas where you need it. So the reason I love doing it with my fingers and hands is that the heat of your hand really helps melt it into the skin. And you also have the texture of your fingers that is very similar to the kind of beauty sponges. So it just gives you that really beautiful texture. So just using my finger and I'm not, I know you have like a little bit of redness here yeah. and on your nose. So that's why I'm focusing the color, but don't think that because you put foundation here, you have to put the whole thing on. It's really about finding the areas of your face where you want to even it out. Okay. So whatever's left over, I'm going to warm up into my palms and then just press it in all over just to make sure that it's very blended. Okay. So um, what areas do you like to conceal? So I again, I mentioned the dark in, in the eyes and then I've got some slight sun damage on my nose. Okay. Um, so yeah, just that kind of. Okay, so what I think would be great for underneath the eyes is the Radiant Creamy Concealer. Um, and I'm gonna use two shades. So I mentioned earlier, you want the Pink Peachy Days. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm going to use a Morpha Peachy Pink, which is called Creme Brulee, which is going to help get rid of darkness. And then use the color Vanilla, which is going to be more of a brightening concealer. And I'll show you a great trick on how you can apply it and make it very soft. Because you'll probably often find if you use too much concealer under the eye, it will catch in mm -hmm. the line. And then you get it. And then it creases, right? Yeah. And you don't like to use a lot of powder. So I'll show you a tip for that. Um, for the nose or any sun damage, I'm going to use the Soft Matte Complete Concealer because it has a little bit more coverage. Um, so it's going to really help cover that. So this is more of a cream concealer. And Creme Brulee has a little bit of that pink undertone of peach. Which is going to be great to cover any darkness. Take a really kind of fluffy blending brush. So this brush here is our number 42 brush. It has just this kind of really soft end. And I'm just going to, it's almost going to be like an airbrushed effect. And blend that just in the areas where you have a little bit more darkness. But by doing this, you're just softly covering it, but you're not using too much product in the covering. Vanilla. You can see. Okay. You see how pink that is? Yeah. I'll show everybody. So this is creme brulee and this is vanilla, right for that inside area here, just to help kind of lift it. Let's talk about um, blush. Right. So do you ever wear blush? I'm scared of blush, I have to say. Yeah. What are you scared about? The only one I'm really happy with at the moment is like a, a goldy, you know, highlighter. And I'm, I'm happy with that. But if I put blush on... Do you find it makes your skin all cheap pinky red? Right? Yeah. Yeah. This shade here is called Luster and it's a peach based color. Mm -hmm. um, so what's nice about this is it's not going to accentuate any redness. Um, and let me show you how you apply it. So I'm just going to put a little bit on the back of my hand. So if you just smile, I'm just going to put just a little bit like that. And then take your finger and blend it out. Can you see this a little bit? And, um, the one I want to show you today is the color here called Vallarta, which is this one. And it's a mattifying bronzer. So you don't have to worry that because sometimes if you have too much shimmer on, even though you want the glowy look, it's going to be a little bit too much for you. Yeah. So the matte one is going to be great to add a little bit of warmth. And this is one of our lighter shades. It's going to go really well with your foundation color. We dust it. Maybe smile. I'm actually going to add it on to the liquid blush. So I'm not, I'm not going to actually contour under. I'm just going to add it on just to kind of deepen that peach shade. The tip though I do like is to take it onto the ear just so that you can't really see the shade where it changes. And then I'm just going to come just right around the perimeter of the face. You almost frame the face and then down the neck. Let's talk powder. Yeah. So you don't like using powders. So why don't you like using powders? Because I think you just get that matte. I'm going to say old lady, but I am an old, older lady. But you know, it's just that matte look you get. Yeah, um, and I agree, like a lot of powders, especially like the loose powders, will mattify more. So the one I'm going to use today is the Light Reflecting Powder. Um, this is our pressed version, the Light Reflecting Powder in Crystal. Um, so let me show it to you. So if you just see it, it's very soft. It um, has a little bit of light reflecting property to it. But you see it's like silky. Gosh. Because that looks like ghostly white. Yeah, but it's transparent, so it works on everybody. Yeah. So as much as you want the radiant look, it doesn't last all day. So especially because we use all the liquids and creams and the concealer under the eye, you want to make sure you set it. And I'm just going to just put this right underneath just to set that. If you have too much shine maybe, this is where you want to use it. But the reason why I love this powder is that it still reflects light, so it doesn't make you look mad, it doesn't look dry at all, and it doesn't bring out any texture. Um, and it does it does work for almost everybody, but we do have a shade called Sunstone, which is um, a really warm shade. So if you have more of a deep complexion, it comes in that as well, and it comes in loose and pressed. <laughs> okay, so before we start eyes, let's talk about your eyebrows. So what what don't you like about your eyebrows? I, I used to like my eyebrows, but then as you get older, you kind of, 
But I have lost slightly some of the fullness. Yeah. As you go down. So you look a bit like a, in the morning, a bit like a, some bird. <laughs> <laughs> because if we go with a uh, dark brown or black, it's going to be too harsh for yeah. you, right? Um, so I'm going to use two shades. Use two shades of the brow protector, one in the blonde shade and one in a medium brown. Um, and by mixing them, you're going to get that dimension. It's not going to look too harsh. Is you really want to define your arch first. So don't think that you have to take the pencil and go through the whole brow. What I like to do is to find your arches when you look forward, it's on the outside of where your, um, your eye is. So it's going to be kind of right exactly where yours is. And just create a little bit of a marker there to guide you. So just like that. So then when you're creating the rest of the brow, you're going to go up to this and down from it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just, you have really great coverage here. So we're just going to add some hair flip, maybe turn this over, and then from the arch, you're then, it's going to help guide you down. And this is also going to really help you get symmetry on both sides. And how far down are you going? So it depends on the eye look you're doing. Um, so if you're doing like a bigger smoke eye, you want to bring it out more. But you can always take your, you know, brush yeah. or your pencil. From here, if you go on the diagonal, it should go right to there because oh, okay. it's going to help. Otherwise, really it will drag your eye down if you go too far. Exactly. Now I'm using the blonde shade through the hair that you do have because you don't want to use the dark brown and make that hair look too dark. So I'm just going in. Okay, so um, to finish the brow, I like to put a little brow gel in, and that's just going to really help kind of hold. Um, um, it's going to help hold the shape in. Okay. And I like to comb the front of the brow here up just to make it look a little bushier. And then the rest of the brow just comb into place. So let's talk eyes. So I have two palettes today. Um, and they're some of my favorites. Let me show them to everybody first. So we have Orgasm and Orgasm X. <laughs> and the names are great, right? Yeah. Out of these two, mm -hmm. which one are you more drawn to? I'm saying that one only because it's really more subtle. Yeah. So let's use it. Yeah. Let's, yeah I think um, I, I want to show you how you can even use the subs. We're talking the orgasm palette, which is more the warm tones, which I think actually will go great with the blush shade we chose. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll show you some ways we can amp it up a bit yeah. more. So I want to do a little bit of eyeliner. And what colors do you normally use for eyeliner? See, I can't do eyeliners on my myself yeah what do you, do you well, i tried a liquid one but i just get one to perfection and then the other is the right hand one. and the left hand one it's just all i just haven't learned the technique okay well so let me let me show you some tips right. so i'm actually going to use a dark blue mm -hmm. um <laughs> Back in the 80s, then. yeah but for but for you though with your blue eyes it's going to really help bring out the color and it's going to complement the warm tones that we're going to use on the eyes and the cheeks and I'm actually going to tight line. So I'm only going to put it kind of right in that bottom line at the top. Let me turn it this way. Can you see that thing? So we're actually now putting this on the lid. And this color here called Park Avenue. This is Nikki Go Rich. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's hear that. So it's going to be right there, and then look up. So I'm going to take the pencil on the side, and I'm just going to let it catch the lashes. And then just take a flat brush. And just make sure that's really blended. Here, so I'm going to take the flat brush, and I'm just going to run it along the pencil like this. So I'm here, and just mark out the little wing, just like that. And then now look down, and then I can just kind of flip. So this is going to really kind of give you that perfect shape. Okay. Once you have your shape in, 
we do again. We can then just go back in and pretend to see almost like creating a shape with the pencil. Now we're going to use the orgasm claw here. And the first shade I'm going to take is the one in the bottom left, which is this kind of matte peach shade. And a small brush, this is the 44 brush. Another tip I like to do is make sure you tap, even if people tap, mm -hmm. pat it in because when you tap, you still have a lot of pigment in the brush. And then when you're tapping, as soon as you touch your face, you have a fallout, right? Okay, so keep your eyes open and look straight ahead. So um, keep them open. Okay. Yeah. And the reason why I do keep them open is I really want to create the shape here. So I'm making the brow bone just a little bit smaller, which is going to look really great for your eye shape here. Mm -hmm. I'm mapping out your crease here. And going a little bit higher up and filling in the outer corner. Here. Mm -hmm. And then just soften it up. So you're getting that kind of illusion of a shadow here, which is going to make your brow bone look a little bit smaller. But you want to soften it so you can really tell you did it intentionally. I'm going to take it, let me be close, just right through the inner, the outer corner here. That's going to help kind of lift the outer corner of it as well. I'm going to take the two shades here, so the goldy shade and the kind of champagne bronze. And we're just going to use our finger and just put a little bit on our finger and close your eyes. And then I'm just going to press through, just right on the lid only. I like using my finger because you can put the pigment exactly where you want it and you don't have um, any issues with fallout. Another trick I like to do is taking the blending brush, and we're just going to mix the two shades here the two shimmer shades of light ones, like that. And then if you look up, and I'm just going to put them right underneath. So you're almost using it as a highlighter under the eye, and you can take it even further down. What it does is it's just going to bring a little bit of highlight to the under eye, and it really helps brighten it up. So it cancels out any kind of darkness. I'm going to use the Climax Extreme Mascara, which is more of a volumizing one. So what I like to do is wiggle the brush side to side and then pull it through. What that does is it adds most of the volume to the root of the lash, which is going to make them look a little thicker. And for the bottom lashes, I'm actually going to use a fan brush. And this is um, one that I love. I think this is from Crown. It's the brand. And the reason I like doing the fan brush is that when you look up, is that you can just paint the mascara on and it just makes it look a little bit softer. So you just are really using it to deepen the lashes. You don't want them, your bottom lashes to be too thick because you're not getting a really dark smooth. I have two lipsticks here that I think would look really nice on you. And the shades are Fabala, and the other one is called The Gal. So Fabala and The Gal. Which one do you like more? The, uh, I, I, I'm going towards that one. Yeah. And then maybe if I put it on, I'll go, oh, it's too dark. I, I don't know. Do you, do you like more of a matte or a shimmer on your lips? More of a shimmer. Yeah? Okay, so let's go for that okay. one. And I like to, when I do lipstick, I like to do the line of seven because you help, when you do it after the lipstick, you can help it kind of melt in. Yeah, I think lip liner is um, quite personal. I like using it because I think when I do a lot of photos and video, it just helps the lips look a little bit more cleaned up. But just because you use liner doesn't mean it has to be very kind of defined. I'll show you kind of a trick that I like to do. You just hold the pencil on the side, not directly on the top, and then you can just shade it exactly where you need it. So I'm putting it through the cupid's bow a bit. This is going to really help just kind of plump it up a bit.
Um, so then I'm going to use the orgasm oil infused lip tint because we went with the same shade for the eyes. So it's a really nice kind of like oily, it has like an oil finish where it's just like high shine, but it has a little bit of that orgasm pink, peach kind of shade. So she makes like a really nice little so what do you think? I love it. It's it's really natural. It's something I could do myself. Um, yeah, it feels really comfortable. I don't feel like oh, you know, I've got a wow, a big face on. So let's uh, let's show it off. Show everybody. Maybe close your eyes. From side to side. Thank you very much. Thank you.